All right, guys, today's video is a bit of an interesting one. I have basically recently given my old Emperor's courtesy a little bit of a spin in the Crucible, and it got me asking some questions. Is the lightweight shotgun actually a competitor now to the aggressive frame shotgun, aka my Benner's Ambition or your Astral Horizon, which I don't have on my character? But basically, I decided to actually go into a private match and actually test the ranges between Emperor's Courtesy and my Mindbender's Ambition. And I've got to say, I was extremely surprised by the results. Now, the first thing I want to point out is that the Mindbender's Ambition that I have is basically the best you can get as far as specking for range. I have Rifle Barrel, Accurized Rounds, and a Range Masterwork. I also have Full Choke, and I have Small Ball. So I have all of the range options. Obviously, we have Quick Draw. Pulse Monitor is not that great, but this is the Mindbender's that I've had basically since Forsaken, so I've had this shotgun for a very long time and uh, I always held on to this guy, I always felt like it's a good roll and you can see here the roll on this, we have Swashbuckler, Quick Draw, Assault Mag and Full Choke, so we don't have Rifle Barrel and we don't have a Range Masterwork on this thing, which makes it even more surprising for me because the range comparison that you're about to see on your screen is really, really quite surprising to me. Basically what I found, and I didn't do like hours of testing, I was in there, I shot around 10 Emperor bullets and about 10 my Mindbenders bullets and you can see here at 7 meters it's basically a guaranteed kill with Emperor's Courtesy right on the edge of 7 meters with the Mindbenders I think you can go slightly back maybe at a push a meter more range but even then when you factor in shotgun RNG it's not always a kill like you can see right here and according to the heavy brick we're still in the region of 7 meters so the difference in one hit kill range between these shotties is so similar now that I think the perks and benefits that you get from a lightweight shotgun might outweigh the perks and benefits of using an aggressive shotgun. So we've got a live commentary gameplay here. It's a 51 defeat game on Convergence using the Emperor's Courtesy. So make up your own mind, guys. Peace. Dude, the guy's name is the one-eyed master is on and he's wearing synthos. <laughs> You're not a real one-eyed mass crutcher. You're not true to the ways of the crutch, like me. Whoa, that guy's running 10 mobility. And then we trade with Mindbenders. Well, there you go, that's a good sign that it's at least as good as Mindbenders ambition. So we've got that going for us, so yeah. Not bad, not bad. Oh. I honestly like, so in my testing, they definitely felt like the range was extremely similar. But I guess obviously the lightweight shotty does do less damage per pellet. So of course, you know, Mindbenders does hit harder. But the margins between, you know, how hard it hits are so... I shot him there, okay. It's just, I don't think the amount of impact you get is worth... Um you know, giving up all of this rate of fire and handling benefits that you get from a lightweight one. I don't know. I mean, look at this thing. Are you saying, I mean, are you saying I'm not mapping people? I feel like I am. I feel like I'm mapping the shit out of them. Can I get my little buff? Thank you. Obviously having a lightweight shoddy plus quick draw is probably even more responsive than uh, Mindbenders with quick draw, you know, because it has a natural lightweight benefits, you know, it gives you a movement buff. It's like 20 plus mobility, I believe. I could be wrong on that. That was a terrible super. I usually just pop bubble, but I thought, fuck it. Uh oh. Oh, we got him though. Damn it. If I could have hit him quicker, maybe could have lived there. Still, nice little spree. Performing pretty well so far, this shoddy. 
The rate of fire on this thing is, I believe, 90, and a Mindbenders is, I believe, 55. Could go up to 60 if you had uh, Assault Mag. So it's 30 less. Alright, this guy is so laggy, I'm just scared, to be honest. Alright, we've got Soul Devourer. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, he's hurting. That stings. <laughs> Challenge this guy. Ooh. Load real quick if we can. Okay, that guy. Oh, okay. What are you gonna do, eh? No docs is just teleporting his little PP off, so I didn't get my overshield, and I couldn't fight the second guy. Probably would have killed them both if he wasn't so laggy. Probably. Hey, Mr. Quabby making some fucking orbs over here. I think I'm gonna have to come have a look. Oh, shit. I thought the guy I killed got me. I don't know where he came from. I saw it just appeared there. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't be killed, motherfuckers! I just cannot be killed! <laughs> Alright, let's load this bad boy up. Hey, buddy. How you doing? I go for the soul? I might as well. Come on, quick, quick, quick. Got one second to hit someone really hard. <laughs> My bubble's still up. Nice, nah, gone down. Dude, that was epic though. <laughs> Fucking refusal to die right there, boys. Ain't over till it's over, you know, you're dead. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, they're kind of just chilling back there. I'm gonna go do the way, because. That was sneaky. Kind of just assassinated that warlock while he was, you know, not really seeing me. Hey, Fluffy. Oh, shit. Dude, this guy keeps fucking. Where does that guy keep coming from? <laughs> I'd just be fighting someone and then he's just on my ass with a shotgun. <laughs> I guess that's kind of like what I did to that warlock. Assassinated his ass. Got one guy here. Oh, he is so weak. Try and hop away from that if we can. Yeah, with Thorn being a lightweight weapon, the shotgun being a lightweight weapon, you can swap your weapons so quickly. As you can see. Now, obviously, you can do that with a regular shotgun too, or, a, you know, mind benders, but I don't know. There's something about the lightweight one that's just inherently snappier and obviously gives you that intrinsic movement boost. And the ranges really don't seem much different. swashbuckler on this thing so dude when you get swashbuckler active yikes that's all I can say just 
swapping, shooting and swapping, you know. Let's get back over to the other side. Obviously, this thing is available in the Crown of Sorrow raid, much more farmable than, you know, the aggressive frame shotties. I didn't want to bubble there, but... Two tap someone with Soul Devourer and weapons alike. Come on. Oh my god, that was crazy damage. Well, well, that's what you get for turning the corner. We should have been third person peeking, right? Then that way I wouldn't have died, hey? <laughs> a lot of uh a lot of discussion around three peeking in trials this weekend. I'm thinking of doing a video on my thoughts on trials. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that. If you would be, let me know. I'll make you do one. You know, why not? We are aping. Ah, he got me. Morgan, you wee bastard. Look at that, we're actually kind of... This was a game of supremacy or something, I'd probably get my fourth super. And it's going to time. I felt like I was getting a lot of kills, I'm surprised it went to time. Teammates probably weren't doing much, I guess. Let's have a look at the final scoreboard. Hey, 50 bomb, let's go. 51 defeats, 7.29 efficiency. That is not bad at all. Considering we got 51 defeats, we probably should have got a wee ran. But hey, listen, Douglas is popping the fuck off tonight. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video, guys. And I will see you in the next one. Peace.